Oh, there's Michael over there as well, look. Yeah, there he is. So the three of us are out at the moment. We're on South Fields uh, having a look around. Not digging the pitches though, right? No pitch wanna, digging. No pitch digging. Wanna make, wanna make that absolutely clear. You're not allowed to do that. You get told off by those men there, see? That fellow that he'll, he'll smack the back of your legs. Be careful. So we're gonna have a look around here on South Fields see what we can find. Uh, Roman coins have been found on this field. Uh, this is where I found that big silvery aluminium um, playing field medallion medal type thing. Um, lots of old coins have been found here as well. So uh, we're just going to give it a go. Mike's out for the first time with his machine. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> <It's terminate. laughs> can't take him anywhere, really. <laughs> Honestly. So let's get to the first hole then. Let's oh, dig. Let's go, boy. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be one of them days. I'm glad I've got me a defenders. Right. Get ourselves a coin ball here. Let's have a little look at what's in there. Later. Okay, so we've been here quite a while now. I know it doesn't seem it on the video, but we have, trust me. And look, that's what we've had. Well, this is what I've had. Nothing but pennies and two peas. Until this hole, I've got myself this. There you go. Stamped on the inside. 925. So it's silver. Obviously the inside of a watch, I'm guessing. Something of that nature. There we go. Not very pretty, but it's, uh, it's silver. So the silver streak continues. We'll see you at the next one. taken bloody ages and loads of crap holes but there we go it's a nice uh, 1916 penny George Pitt nice condition that actually that should clean up nice yep so now the part of the field that I'm on at the moment is the one with the old coins where I was earlier was just all modern stuff have a little furk about around here and see what we can find. What's up next? Okay, so there's something quite interesting out of the hole. And as you can see, it's on my bucket list, a nice widow head Victoria penny. 1897, look at that. It's a bit worn around the edges. Quite worn on the front there, uh, on the back there on Britannia. A little bit chipped on the edges, but yeah. Like that, it's nice there marked off that's uh that was on my bucket list to find a nice uh, one of these i'm sure i could probably find one a little bit better but happy with that lovely coin on to the next Had a football stud. It's a little bit of rubbish, but it's interesting rubbish. Obviously, that was on somebody's boot at some point. You never know. It could have been on a boot that scored the winning goal, but you never know. I don't normally show rubbish, mind you. That's all I ever find, to be honest. So uh, yeah, there you go. Last video I did where I had nothing but ring balls, I got slated on Twitter 
by Donald Trump. Yeah, unbelievable. He'll have a field day with this. Okay, just have myself another hole here. Just got himself another decent old coin. I think it's 1920. Is that 20 or 26? 20. George V. There he is. Cool. On to the next. Okay, out of this hole here, just have yourself a nice coin. Look at that. I've not got a clue what it is though. I cannot see any de detail on it, as you can see there. Quite battered. Very worn. It's obviously got a lot of age to it. I have that or it's had a hard life. But yeah, I can't make out anything on that. I'll give it a clean up when I get home. Chances are it's George II. But uh, yeah, I'll have a look. Could be wrong, probably am, usually am. But I'll clean it when I get home and show you in the roundup. Okay, had an interesting find. There we go, I've had an interesting find out of the hole. Check this one out. It's a little toy car. But look at it, at some point it must have had rubber, rubber wheels, because look, the wheels are still there, but the rubber bits have gone. It says on the bottom there, look, made in England by Lesney. Matchbox Series 41, 4GT. Now, Matchbox cars these days are just Matchbox cars. They're not actually made by Lesney. It doesn't say made by Lesney, so this must be really, really old. I'll have to go on Google and have a look at that. But yeah, it's all right, that, isn't it? Not bad. I think that'll probably end up being my last hole, I'm not sure. Might carry on, might not. If not, I'll see you at the Roundup. Okay, everybody, welcome to the Roundup. As you can see, there were uh, quite a few holes that I managed to get through. Um, lots of modern coinage. Ooh, nice pound coin there, look. Some chewed up coins as well, where the lawnmower has been at them. Also, a couple of nice George Fifths. Oh, a little bit battered, actually, to be honest. Um, nice uh, widow head. Victoria there, I like that. It's my first one, 1897. Uh, also, there's this coin. No idea what it is. Um, couldn't really get anything from it. I've tried to match it up to what's in the book, but really couldn't find anything. Looks a bit like, oh, I don't know. I don't know, it's just so. The only thing I can think of after matching it up with the book size and shape and everything else, because it is a funny overly shape. It's not quite round. The only thing I could find that it matched up to was a George II half penny. Which I have had already before. But this is in very poor condition. Can't really get anything off that. So you never know. You never know what it is. But there you go, look. Um, no idea what that thing is. Big tube of nonsense. Um, lead obviously gives off a real good signal, which is why those two lumps got dug up. Um, there's this silvery thing. That, uh, as you can see, is marked inside. Brevet. No idea. 925C. Um, yeah. It's obviously part of a watch. Because that's where the winder would have gone through. But, um, yeah. No idea. On that. Uh, stood. A couple of bottle tops that were giving off good signals, obviously. Good tones. And there's the car. Looking a bit sorry for itself, but yeah, there you go, see? Would have had rubber on those wheels. I've had a little look online, and uh, yeah, this car was manufactured at some point in the 1960s, this particular model with the stripe and the yellow wheels with the rubber on. Look at that, the paint's coming off, look, off the bonnet. Dear, oh dear. So yeah, this is from the 60s. Uh, I don't know if it's been buried since the 60s, but uh, let's put a quick picture of it on screen, what it would have looked like in all its glory. There you go. 
Um, yeah, it's such a shame. It looked like a nice car, but uh, yeah, not looking so good these days. Um, and there you go. There you have it. So, a couple of hours on South Fields, and that's what we got. Really, just the old coins that I'm interested in here at the top. Happy with those. Some nice old coins saved from the dirt. Um, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Much appreciated. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. If you wish, it's totally up to you. I'm not forcing you into anything. Um, and uh, also, if you are getting out at some point soon, good luck and happy hunting. And I shall see you all in the next video. Ta-ra. Mm -hmm.